Public Radio. This is your 420 Radio News for Wednesday, October 2nd, 2013. I'm Russ Belville. Alleged Silk Road website founder arrested by police in San Francisco. This from The Guardian. Police in New York say that a man has been arrested over the ownership and operation of Silk Road, a site which was used to sell drugs over the Internet and which used bit bitcoins for funding. Ross William Ulbricht, who the police claim operated the site under the name Dread Pirate Roberts, or DPR, was arrested in San Francisco. Documents seen by the Guardian say that Ulbricht was in possession of 26,000 bitcoins worth approximately $3.6 million. Silk Road was normally reached via the Tor anonymization network. The police complaint says that Silk Road was, quote, a vast online marketplace responsible for the distribution of hundreds of kilograms of illegal drugs and other illicit goods and services, end quote. Report, legalization of marijuana would bring Israel 1.6 billion shekels from Jerusalem Post. Legalization of marijuana in Israel could be a gold mine for state coffers, bringing in as much as 1.6 billion shekels in tax revenues and savings for law enforcement, according to a new report released Wednesday. According to the study by the Jerusalem Institute for Market Studies, legalization would save police and courts some 690 million shekels in annual costs and bring the state 950 million shekels in tax revenue. Each year, there are over 18,000 criminal cases involving marijuana in Israel, over 70,000 of them involving amounts that are personal use, and that a total of 5.2% of criminal cases in Israel involve marijuana charges. Furthermore, the report states that some 5.4% of all inmates in Israel are serving time for marijuana-related charges. The poll, which questioned 500 Jewish Israelis in July of 2013, found that while only 26% of Israelis support marijuana legalization and that 64% are opposed, when respondents were taught more about the issue, over 50% said they'd support legalization. The report, which only dealt with marijuana and not any hard drugs, found that only 14.5% of Israeli Jewish adults had tried marijuana and that about 270,000 Israelis had used marijuana over the past year. Marijuana legalization backers unveil bus ads from the Kennebec Journal. Political ads promoting the legalization of recreational marijuana will not be pulled from city buses, despite youth advocates' complaints that the ads might encourage youth drug use, Metro General Manager Gregory Jordan said Wednesday. The Marijuana Policy Project, the group behind the effort to legalize marijuana in Portland next month, formally launched bus and bus shelter ads during a news conference Wednesday. The ads will run up until Election Day. The series of ads show well-dressed and clean-cut adults and text saying that using marijuana is safer than drinking alcohol and does not cause hangovers or make people rowdy. The ads ask voters to support the referendum November 5th that would legalize possession of small amounts of marijuana by people over the age of 21 in the city of Portland, Maine. Study, some drug tests fail to detect synthetic marijuana from the Washington Post. Drug tests required for people on parole or probation often fail to detect the use of synthetic marijuana, a substance that is increasing in popularity, according to a pilot study recently released by the White House Office of National Drug Control Policy. Figures from the Drug Abuse Warning Network show that in 2010 there were 11,406 ER admissions related to synthetic cannabinoids. That number more than doubled in 2011 to 28,531. The substances, which have hundreds of names including K2 and Spice, are sold in colorful packets between $9 and $12. The researchers who tested a sample of young men who were in the D.C. parole and probation system found that 39% of them tested positive for synthetic cannabinoids but passed a traditional drug screen. None of the three sites for the, projected, for the project included screening for synthetic marijuana, and the special testing for the study cost an average of $63 per specimen. More than 1,000 specimens were tested. America's first hemp crop harvest in almost 60 years begins. From Huffington Post. Back in May, Springfield, Colorado farmer Ryan Laughlin planted 55 acres of hemp, the first hemp crop planted in the United States in nearly 60 years. Last week, Laughlin and others harvested the historic hemp plants by hand as advocates watched on.
This has been your 420 Radio News for Wednesday, October 2nd, 2013. I'm Russ Belville. When we come back, we go behind the headlines to take a look at youth, alcohol, tobacco, and marijuana use from 1975 through 2012 and the data points in time that led to historic decreases in those first two drugs. You're listening to the Russ Belville Show on 420radio.org. We'll be right back. <laughs> 